Hi everyone, my name is Erin Neal and today I will be discussing the definition, cause, medical treatments, and motor speech disorders related to Huntington's disease. First, let's take a look at the definition. Huntington's disease, also known as Huntington's chorea, can be defined as an inherited disorder. It is a progressive neurodegenerative disorder with a distinct phenotype. So here are some facts about Huntington's disease you should be aware of. Like I mentioned earlier, it is inherited. So if your father or mother have it, there's a 50% chance that you are also going to have it. The occurrence of Huntington's disease is 5 to 10 per 100,000 people, so it's pretty rare. The onset typically occurs between 30 and 50 years of age. Juvenile Huntington's disease is less common with an earlier onset that begins at childhood or adolescence. Life expectancy is typically 15 to 20 years years from the onset of the symptoms. As far as gender, risk is equal for men and women alike. Um, And also here I've included a photo of Woody Guthrie, who's a famous folk singer who suffered from Huntington's disease. So what causes Huntington's disease? The cause of it starts out by inheriting a mutant Huntington gene. The Huntington gene is mutated due to an unusual DNA repetition of CAG, which are individual DNA building blocks. 35 or less CAG repetitions equals a normal Huntington gene. 36 or more CAG repetitions equals a mutated gene. The mutated Huntington gene results in a mutated Huntington proteins, which are characterized by a chain of glutamine. It is the mutated Huntington proteins that cause degeneration of neurons in the brain, particularly in the basal ganglia and the cerebral cortex. We should also note that it is still unknown how the proteins cause degeneration of the neurons. Because the basal ganglia is affected, let's take a quick look at its important functions. It's used for coordination of smooth movement. It's where movements are planned out and refined. It's interconnected with several other parts of the brain. There are also four different functional circuits, which include motor, limbic, cognitive, and oculomotor. So the basal ganglia anatomy that's affected due to Huntington's is the caudate nucleus and the putamen, which equals the striatum. And there are over 100 different neuroactive chemicals in the striatum alone. So the damage to the striatum results in decreased neurotransmitter receptors in the basal ganglia. There's off-balance signals due to too many excitatory signals, not enough inhibitory signals. Um, And there's also a reduction of enzymes and other neuroactive chemicals in the brain. So this slide, you find a picture demonstrating the contrast of a normal brain versus a brain of someone with Huntington's. Note the enlarged ventricles and atrophy of cerebral tissue and basal ganglia. So with all that damage to the brain, you can only assume some serious symptoms would take effect. There are three major areas of symptoms and include motor, cognitive, and mood and emotion. The motor function is usually the first onset of symptoms and consists of um, chorea, clumsiness, twitching, muscle spasm, dysarthria, dysphagia, and slow abnormal eye movement. The cognitive symptoms include deficits in communication, attention span, organizing thoughts, memory, and dementia. The mood and emotional symptoms include um, a change in depression, apathy, anxiety, aggressiveness, and inappropriate behavior. Um, We also want to note that the severity of symptoms may correlate with the number of CAG repetitions found. Usually the fewer the repetitions, the better. And everyone is affected differently. And also note that all these symptoms are progressive, so everything will progressively um, become more severe. Okay, so here we have some information on the diagnostics and medical treatment of Huntington's disease. As far as a diagnosis, um, you're going to want to identify clinical features, use brain imaging such as an MRI, CT scan, or PET scan, and of course genetic testing. As far as medical treatment, there is no cure. Um, Therapy is used to alleviate symptoms, which therapy can include speech, physical, and occupational. The focus is um, on the quality of life of the patient. As far as medical advances, in 1993, the Huntington gene was discovered, which led to the ability of doing a genetic test. Um, Also, tetrabenazine was a drug that was approved in 2008 to reduce chorea. And then, of course, support groups are always encouraged. The motor speech disorder related to Huntington's disease is hyperkinetic dysarthria, which is characterized by imprecise consonants, distorted vowels, harsh voice quality, irregular articulatory breakdowns, strained and strangled voice quality, and monopitch. And this concludes the end of my presentation on Huntington's disease.